what's up everyone welcome back to another video and in this one we're gonna be going over the best 20 apps for your samsung galaxy a53 5g we have researched and tested many apps from one type to another and in this video we have reviewed the best ones just for you so let's begin Welcome to Search Tech. Our mission is to help you get the most out of your tech through reviews and tutorials. If that is something you're interested in, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell to get notified when we release a new video. And there's going to be useful links below in the description covering everything that we discuss in this video. With that being said, let's get right into it. First up, we're going to have One Weather, and One Weather is arguably the best weather app out there. It features a simple paginated design that shows you the current weather, maybe forecast, and a radar and maybe other fun stats. Along with that, you will get a fairly decent set of lightly customizable widgets and the standard stuff like a severe weather notification and a radar so you can see the storms approaching. Then we're gonna have Out of Milk, and this is one if not the best grocery list app that you can find for free on the store. It is definitely for me a must have if you want to have an easy shopping experience since it is extremely polished and then categorizes into individual sections as well. Then we're going to have Nova Launcher and the ability to customize Android the way you want makes it the world's most popular OS. While the default TouchWiz and Samsung One UI offers plenty, Nova is the best custom launcher for Android that allows tweaking every corner of your device. We're also going to have Galaxy Wallpaper, and this is a cool HD background app that has over 100 high quality Galaxy pictures. It does work offline, so the images are always available to apply as home screen and lock screen background. Then we're going to have Evernote, and Evernote is one of the best note taking apps for Android. It lets users save important information such as schemas, email addresses, contacts, notes, web pages, and even more. We're also going to have AVG Antivirus, and Samsung takes security very seriously and every one of their devices comes with an in-house Samsung Knox solution for mobile platforms to protect the data. However, it's always good to have a second app that lets you do custom scans and remove potential threats, and AVG is one of the most popular antivirus apps for Android, so I really recommend you this app. Then we're going to have Bitwarden, and it's practically impossible to remember all the passwords you use on different apps, and it would be foolish to use the same password over and over again. Now this choice is really good because your passwords are synchronized across desktop, browser, and mobile with a simple out of fail in feature. Then we're going to have Silk Paints, and this is an amazing drawing application, doodle, and also a sketching. It does include many fun graphs, as you can tell right here, and it has some nice colors. Then we're going to have Magisto, and this is a surprisingly good video editor app and video maker that automatically turns your video clips and photos into awesome movies. Next up, we're going to have VSEO, and this is a decent photo editor and video editor app in a single package. The VSEO cam operation, it is straightforward, and you can edit, add tweaks, and apply filters, all from minimalist menu. Users can quickly apply different presets and tools or just adjust the exposure, temperature, contrast, saturation, and even more. Then we're going to have VLC, and this is the cross-platform media player that can open about any video or audio file ever created. And the Android app works very well, including the integrated file browser, the picture-in-picture -picture support, and many other features. Then we're going to have Pocket, and this is a simple app for saving text content you find on the web for later. Pocket displays the stories in a very readable form, and it's also distraction free. So I would totally recommend this app. Then we're going to have Feedly, and Feedly is one of the most popular feed reader apps on Android, and I would like to think that it has little to do with the fact that the app properly supports large screens. So if your device has a large display, then this will be very good for you. Now we're going to have the Solid Explorer File Manager, and this is an excellent file manager application and it's one of the few options with a clean tablet interface and also big size phone interface. 
It does have a dual panel mode for viewing, two directories at once, support for network drives, and even more. Now on spot number 15, we're going to have Gboard Keyboard. This is the default keyboard application on many Android devices, and it has one feature that is especially nice on big devices, and that will be the one-handed mode that we have talked about in our tips and tricks videos. Now we're down to Vivaldi Browser, and this is another web browser that works slightly better on Android than Chrome. It shares the same core engine as Chrome, but offers a tracker blocker and an option to always view desktop sites, a speed dial, and a built-in screenshot utility. Now we're going to have Comixology, and this is a comic slash manga reader for Android and other platforms, featuring integration with Kindle libraries and offline support. So if you read mangas or maybe some comics, this will be a great app for you to have. Now we're down to a sketchbook, and this is one of the most feature-packed drawing applications on Android, and it's designed for everything from industrial design sketches to digital art, and it works best with phones and active stylus pens as well. Now on spot number 19, we're going to have Moon Plus Reader, and this is an excellent way to read ebooks on Android tablets, whether they use EPUB, PDF, mobile, or another format. And it's also highly customizable with different settings for line spacing, the UI, page turns, auto scrolling, and much more. Then lastly, we're going to have Strava, and Strava has been around for a long time and is easily among the best popular fitness app currently used by Android smartphone users. The app supports most activities you could possibly think of including running, cycling, swimming, and even more. Another key Strava feature it is it supports a wide variety of Android and Wear OS devices. Strava is also famous for having a very vocal and vibrant community within its ecosystem. Alright everyone, so that was it for today's video. If you got some valuable information out of it, please don't forget to give it a like and also leave a comment down below on what you think. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications every time we post a new video. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next one.